Hello, my name is John Barrett, and I first want to thank NORCAM and NORCAM Phil for hosting this Get to Know the Candidates Forum. Since moving to North Reading in 2008, my wife Michelle and my three boys Sam, Max, and Nolan have been very busy in Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, sports, marching band, maskers, and notorious, to name just a few things. I have two Eagle Scouts, and Nolan is likely to become an Eagle Scout. Um, I work down in Bedford and my wife works for three different churches doing all forms of communications and media. We're very lucky to have, the churches are very lucky to have her. Why vote for me? I am working right now and will continue to work to return transparency, choice and consent back to parents where it belongs. For well over a decade, there has been little transparency and no choice and no consent when it comes to the divisive and harmful ju social justice curriculum being pushed down from Jeffrey Riley, the commissioner of DESE. The North Reading school system answers to DESE and DESE alone. And parents like myself are a nuisance to be tolerated and cast aside. I am rep representing many, many parents who have no voice and no choice when it comes to the curriculum their children are exposed to. If elected, I will work to bring NRPS back into alignment with state and federal laws, namely the Pupils' Rights Amendment 20 U.S. Code 2012-32H, which guarantees parents the right to transparency, choice, and consent with regard to curriculum. I won't go into specifics of the political grooming that the schools are engaged in, but it is not the role of the schools to indoctrinate children in left-wing political dogma. Parents like myself demand access to social justice curriculum and the ability to opt out of, of uh, curriculum that we find objectionable or offensive. And that's where I'm trying to move the school to. We want, our, we want transparency, choice, and consent. I will also work to put an end to the destructive COVID regime. No universal masking, never again, without parental consent. And I wanna put an end to the prom promotion of an experimental, experimental vaccine that is far more harmful to children than COVID. Win or lose this seat, my team and I will work to restore parents' lawful rights and to end the nightmare of endless masking, which is coming back in the fall, and the promotion of an 80% vax rate, which in the long run will kill many more children than it saves. Thank you for your consideration, and please email me at barretforfreedomnr at protonmail.com. That's barrett, the number four, freedomnr at protonmail.com. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jody Cloney and I'm running for school committee. I'm running for all the moms out there who are worried about our kids, but don't always have time to blow dry our hair. I have two children. Jacob is a freshman in high school and Leah is in eighth, eighth grade at the middle school. I currently serve on the middle school council, the high school council, and as the treasurer for the music boosters. I have worked with the teachers, the principals, and the superintendents over the past decade, building relationships that will help me create meaningful change as a member of the school committee. In my professional career, I've been an operations director, a project manager, and a chief operating officer. I have created and managed budgets over $10 million, and I understand making complicated decisions when working with limited resources. I have been responsible for interviewing, hiring, and I have participated in union negotiations. And I'll use these skills to increase diversity in our hiring. I've experienced serving communities from the Massachusetts Transgender Political Committee to being the chair of the Board of Christian Ed at my church. There are several things the North Reading School District does a really great job at. And I'm grateful for all of those things and I appreciate the work that went into making those things possible. There are some things, unfortunately, that we're not as good at. The first line of the North Reading Public Schools statement start, mission statement starts, the North Reading Public Schools provide a safe, supportive, and contemporary learning environment. I am running for school committee because I believe the most important job of school committee is to make our administration live up to that mission. We consistently rank low when compared to other schools in Massachusetts on diversity. We've had serious incidents of racism at the school. We have had signs and words in school committee meetings that are harmful to the Jewish community. 
just recently, we had a formal request to the principal, I'm sorry, to so the superintendent and the school committee requesting that we deny transgender students the ability to play sports in our schools. A kid afraid of what will happen to them at school and that doesn't feel supported by the adults in charge can't reach their potential, no matter how well we balance the budget. My motto is we all do what we can when we can. What I can do as a member of the school committee is to commit to making sure that the impacts to marginalized students are considered in all of our decisions. Create space in every conversation for marginalized voices because I understand that there is no substitute for the lived experience of marginal people, marginalized people. Fight for every kid and family that doesn't feel seen. What I'm asking you to do is vote for me. Hi, my name is Jeff Friedman. I'm a candidate for school committee here in North Reading. Pleasure to meet you all. Uh, I, I'm running for a pretty basic set of reasons. I think the primary reason really is to, to really serve my town and serve my community. Uh, I grew up in, in a family that, that really respected the community and, and expected uh, that service was just a part of community. So it, it's not like doing a, a good thing is, is something that's just uh, that, that you do out of charity. It's just something you do because it's expected of you. And for me, school committee is very important because I have a daughter in third grade and I have a wife in, uh, that's been an educator for 20 plus years. And for me, schools are really the center of, uh, of any community really the heart of everything. That's how I grew, again, how I grew up and what I'm seeing with my daughter and, and what my, my wife has experienced. Uh, my, my work and my private life, uh, I'm an attorney, just so uh, people understand what I do. Um, and so they bring, sort of understand the rationale I bring to it and a fairly analytical rationale to, uh, to any position I'm, I'm with. For me, the, the work of school committee is largely budgetary. It's largely about how do you allocate the right resources to, to get the results you're looking for, whether that's through education in, in terms of getting resources for teachers, getting teachers themselves. Teachers take up uh, justifiably roughly 80, 85% of, of the school's budget. And that's a good thing. You want to be able to, to attract great educators, great administrators. Uh, I think we do that. I think we need to keep that going. The, the contract for teachers is going to be up during the term of whoever is elected. I think that's something we have to take into account. Um, I also think that uh, in terms of importance, making sure that, there's a, that there is accessibility and inclusion. And again, this comes back to budget, making sure you've got great teachers teaching phenomenal curriculum is, is just giving them the right resources, giving them the freedom to be able to do the job the best that they can do. Uh, my daughter came in the other day and said she wants to do chorus. And this is not an unusual thing. She wants to do chorus, she wants to do soccer, she wants to do skating, she wants to do swimming. Um, to me, that in, in a nutshell really is what we should be offering every kid. Any kid who wants to participate and wants to, to stretch themselves and extend themselves, we should be able to provide those opportunities to, opportunities to all children. Um, to me, that's the important thing that, uh, that we need to provide, especially from school committee. Again, my name's Jeff Friedman, and I'm a candidate for, uh, for school committee here in North Reading. My name is Kristen O'Mara, and I am running for school committee. I am running for the children of our community. It is important to me that all North Reading's children receive a top-notch education that will prepare them for the complex, technical, and competitive world that awaits them. It is a pivotal time to recognize the changes our children have had to deal with as a result of the COVID pandemic. It is important for us to work together and implement effective solutions to address our children's mental health and learning gaps. I can offer a variety of problem-solving strategies to meet the needs of the teachers, students, school budgets, and school district goals with my prior bank management position and my bachelor of science degree in human resource management and finance. I am a highly self-motivated individual 
who continues to work through challenges until there's a resolution. I would use good judgment in allocating and reallocating fiscal resources within the budget to ensure appropriate student class sizes are kept throughout our five schools so our wonderful teachers can do what they do best. I would propose to review the budget and policies to ensure they are relevant and needed. I will be open-minded, respectful, and professional to create productive working relationships among committee members and Dr. Daly. My focus is also on student achievement and accountability while promoting a collaborative learning environment that motivates and encourages students to work together to ensure success for all. I want our schools to continue to be a safe and nurturing place where they can respect one another and become strong, independent, critical thinkers. The curriculum should support mathematics, writing, reading, history, STEM integration, as well as phys physical education, music, and art. We need to enrich opportunities for building cognitive and social interactions through extracurricular activities, such as clubs and sports teams to help children develop motor skills and enhance children's sense of well-being. My husband and I moved to North Reading 10 years ago because we wanted to grow our roots and a friendly community that had a highly ranked school system, knowing we would have children of our own. We have a second grader, Tyler, at the Little School and preschooler, Zachary, at the Hood School. I have been involved with the Little School PTO since my oldest started kindergarten. I am the treasurer on their board and I am committed to accuracy, transparency, and timeliness to maintain the finances, set the budget, and reporting. I have streamlined processes for efficiency, and I am responsible for record keeping and preparations for annual filings and state registrations. I strongly believe that education is one of our most important community investments. I will listen thoughtfully to parents, educators, students, and the community members on their feedback and concerns. I will invest my time toward the continued success of our town school committee to build a strong learning foundation for our children to become successful in their adult life. And so I ask for your vote. Thank you. Hello, North Reading. I'm happy to have this time to introduce myself to those residents that I may not know yet. My name is Noelle Redloff, and I am a proud mother of two little girls at the Bachelor School. I have a fifth grader, Arden, who will be moving on to the middle school next year, and a third grader, Dorothy Gray. I also happen to be a product of the school system, as I grew up in North Reading and attended the Bash, the middle school, and the high school. North Reading was a wonderful place to grow up. I went on to college and graduate school in Boston, at Boston University, and then to Tufts. I worked for many years in public health and health education research within a variety of federally funded grant projects in geriatrics, mental health, and women's health. When it came time to settle down and raise a family, my husband and I returned to North Reading. Once the hornet, always a hornet. From the beginning of my daughter's education, I have been honored to be involved with their schools and the community at large. Some of my volunteer work has included chair of the Hilltop Parents Association, member of the Bachelor Parents Organization for the last six years, a member of the Christian Education Committee at the UCC Church, a Girl Scout leader, and an Explorer Vision team advisor. Our family has a strong belief in civic involvement and volunteerism, and we work hard to instill the same values in our children. My husband also serves the town as a member of the Community Planning Commission. I believe I will be a valuable addition to the school committee because I'm a collaborator and a bridge builder by nature. I can listen to people voice their opinions and concerns with empathy and move all parties toward logical and fact-based decisions. I am diplomatic and I operate from a neutral middle ground. I believe in engaging all stakeholders, students, families, teachers, and administration. I have experience in creatively allocating budgets and using limited funds. And I would like to assist our children as they move on and recover academically, physically, and psychologically from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. 
I am also very passionate and committed to strict academic standards, merit-based achievement, healthy discourse and debate. I believe in a strong classic foundation to education, including literature, science, history, civics, critical thinking, writing, and the arts. I would like to foster an environment of resilience, possibility, unity, and encouragement in our schools. And I believe in a unifying approach that will help build a common culture in which all students are seen both as unique people and as belonging to and an essential member of the student body at large. So thank you, fellow Hornets, for your time and consideration. I hope you will vote for me, Noelle Redlaw, for school committee on Tuesday, May 3rd. Thank you for listening in today, and a special thanks to NORCAM for including me in your Meet Your Candidates program. My name is Rich Walner, and I am running for my second three-year term on the select board. Although my seat is uncontested, I still appreciate the opportunity to share a few minutes about my background and goals for the next three years. I moved to North Reading in 1991 and have been living in the same house in the Martins Pond area ever since. We love our neighborhood and the spirit of community that it fosters. We have also raised two daughters and a son who have been blessed with a great education as provided by the schools. So thank you for that. I started my volunteer work in town by being an original Martins Pond associate member in the early 90s and have been involved with town affairs ever spent since, especially over the last 10 years. You can see my full resume by going to my LinkedIn profile at www.linkedin.com backslash in backslash rich w but suffice to say it includes 25 years of various professional roles in the corporate world plus another 15 years in financial and public services in and out of our town i am running again for the select board because first the board along with the town administrator have found satisfying and productive ways to work together second i want to see the same community spirit that we feel in my neighborhood shared by others throughout the town because I love my town and intend to live here for life, but I do see trouble ahead. Our demographics are changing rapidly. We are one of the fastest growing communities of seniors in Massachusetts, yet we have done little to prepare for them. Why is it important to keep our seniors in town? Here is one fiscal reason. It takes the property taxes from two empty nester homes to support the cost of sending just one child to our schools. Empty nesters are typically seniors, yet they are under attack from high property taxes, lack of services, and lack of age-appropriate community gathering spaces. Think about it. When our kids go to schools, we are really connected to our community. But when the kids move on, we have to ask ourselves, is there life after kids, which, was, which is quickly followed by, do I stay or do I go? This is the question that rising seniors ask every June during graduation ceremonies at the high school. Unfortunately, recent studies show that only 60% of our rising seniors intend to stay. This is an alarming stat because the state average is 80%. This is a leading indicator that we must take active step steps now or risk decimating our schools and our community in 10 to 15 years. The select board understands this concern and has already decided to fill a long vacant role of public services director to help lead the way, but there is so much more to do. Learn more by going to the NORCAM Facebook page and search for age-friendly presentation. It will give you the research along with action plans for us to meet the challenge. Meanwhile, I am not a one-dimensional candidate. I continue to support recreational projects such as improving access to the Swan Pound area, improving Martin's Pond, and most recently proposing a recreational trail that will connect Ipswich River Park to Willis Woods and the bike trails throughout the North Shore. I support social causes such as working with the Council of Aging, Commission on Disabilities and the Tax Aid Committee. I also support the need for diversity education in our schools and community because our kids need and want to be prepared for a world of many colors. I also support the other board members as they work on their projects. As a final thought, remember, communities are not built on transactions, but through relationships. I appreciate your vote as an indicator of your support for these goals. Thank you for your time and attention.